All right, Shalom. First off, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to all the Akim out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. So we back with another lesson and we're going to go into this video right here. As you can see, it's called, Is a Cell Tower Causing Cancer in School Children? And pretty much Esau, he has a cell tower literally set up right where a, a school, elementary school is. Literally on the, um, the uh, same, like right by the building, pretty much. All right. And this video is going to show you that where it's set up and it's going to go into pretty much how it's destroying the kids that's going to that school. And this is just another reason why you so-called white people are the devil, mm -hmm. you know, among many other reasons. All right. And we go to just play the video and grab some scriptures and Lord willing, the lesson be edified. Parents outraged tonight after a fourth child is diagnosed with cancer at a San Joaquin Elementary School. And parents believe it's because of radiation caused by a cell tower at the school. News tonight, CBS 13's Jen McGraw is live in Ripon with what the school is now saying. Jen? Yeah, it's become such a point of contention that more than 200 students stayed home from school yesterday in protest. And their parents went before the school board demanding answers and that they take precaution. Cell phone towers are spread throughout the community, but it's this particular one that parents say usually tell us it's 100% environmental, the type of tumor he has. Monica Ferulli's son Mason was the second child to be diagnosed with cancer in just three years at Weston Elementary. He was 10 years old and walked by this cell phone tower daily. It's, it's undescribable. It's, it's really tough. That's one of the hardest things I've been through. Joe Prime's son Kyle was the first diagnosed with kidney cancer in 2016 and two more kids were diagnosed this year. It just seems like a coincidence is no longer a reason for, for all this illness. They believe it's this cell phone tower that's harming their kids. These kids shouldn't be guinea pigs and we shouldn't be we shouldn't be taking chances with the children's lives. The district has had several tests done saying the tower is safe and meets federal regulations. But some families weren't convinced and hired an expert. I wouldn't send my kids there at all. Uh, it absolutely is dangerous. Eric Windheim is an electromagnetic radiation specialist and found levels far higher than the district's expert. Children that are still developing and their cells are still dividing is the worst possible time of their life to be exposed. He says it's not just a cell tower, it transmits wireless frequencies. Instead of only going 300 yards like regular Wi-Fi, WiMAX can go 30 miles. Parents want the mask removed, but the district won't budge. And while the district has sent plenty of letters to those parents, those parents tell me that this fight is far from over. Yeah, so you see, Esau is pretty, just, just that he the devil. Yep. They're not, they literally said they're not going to budge when it's been multiple cases of kids getting cancer from that cell tower that's right by the building. And it's not like the, the Edomite said, this isn't a coincidence anymore because it's multiple people that's getting cancer. And, and they all go into the same school, walking by the same cell tower. And Esau always get, that just shows you that all these little tests and these tests and everything that Esau be claiming he do to prove that it's safe and this and that. That's all bullshit because here it is. They say that it's safe. And then you got another guy that's an expert on it. He's saying that it's not safe. So who who's lying? You know, clearly it's not safe if you're if different kids are getting cancer that go to that school. Yet you so-called white people, you're not going to do anything mm -hmm. about it. You're not going to not going to um, you're not going to uh, take it down. You're just going to leave it there and just say, oh, that's not the problem. Pretty much deal with it, you know. And that's the attitude of the so-called white man when it comes to, to doing wickedness. He just tell you to deal with it. When he gets exposed for it and it gets brought to light, he just tell you to deal with it. You know, got the FDA getting funded to, to sit there and lie and say that it's safe for you when it's really destroying you. Yep. I got a precept. Mm -hmm. This is um Psalm 58, verse 2. Psalm 58, 2. It says, Yea, in heart... You work wickedness. Yeah, in your heart you work wickedness, man, in your mind. Mm -hmm. All right. And y'all y'all knew exactly what you were doing when you set up that cell tower right by the school. All right. Like the dude the Edomite dude said, he said the, the children are basically guinea pigs. Yeah. 
you hear it is you saying it's safe but what what test is there that's that's out there that's really been studying or following people for like years and on like years out to see if it's actually affecting them or not you saw ain't doing those type of tests he's doing it on you people mm -hmm. that's why when the results come in or oh, uh, uh this child has cancer or this person has caught cancer as well or it took this long for for the uh the cancer to set in you like the brother saying and, and, and like it's going into you people are the guinea pigs. You are the test subjects. All of you Babylonians are are, are, are just... Uh, Babylon is just a testing ground for all of Esau's wickedness. And you Babylonians are just test subjects. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. No matter what the case may be. <clears throat> Here it is. This this is one scenario. You got people suing... Uh, 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 well, Johnson & Johnson have to... Have, uh, they, have to mm -hmm. um, they have to pay millions because what? Because their products uh, 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 have been causing cancer. And they knew this. And it's still selling on the shelves. Yeah, that's cold. Hey, um, um, what is it? The Jake that... Um, yeah, that, uh, he, uh, that he Roundup. Got, yeah, he got, he, he got money, uh, millions from, I believe, Monsanto. Mm -hmm. All right? From all that Roundup. He had caught cancer. They got cancer in your children's cereal. Mm -hmm. All right? They have the... Uh, uh, I forgot what it's called. Gly glyphosate or, or something like that to yeah. that effect. But pretty much that's on all of the beer, all your wine. Mm -hmm. All right? Esau's doing this on purpose, man. You know, just so he can further kill you, your children. All right, and see how 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 long it takes in uh, uh, to react on you people, and what type of reaction does it have? Yeah. You know, so this is this is all strategic. It says Psalm fifty-eight two. Yea, in heart ye work wickedness, ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. Yeah, and this is part of him doing that. All right. And this isn't even, the, and they want to try to set up 5G towers, and that's not even a 5G tower, and it's causing people cancer. Mm -hmm. So imagine how much more it's going to do if they actually do set up 5G towers. And I'm sure brothers have seen the videos. That, that literally killing animals and everything that fly by it. So you know what it's going to do to people. If this is already causing cancer, and this is like a low-level thing compared to the 5G, that's low-level. Mm -hmm. And it's still killing people. And this is just part of like the brother was going into. You got the Roundup, you got Johnson and Johnson, and it's literally being sold on the counter still while they're being sued. Mm -hmm. Still being sold in stores though. Yep. And it's being brought to light that it literally causes you cancer, yet it's still able to be sold to you. Yeah, it hasn't been pulled from the shelves or anything. These 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 different stores are still are still uh, uh um putting these different stores are still putting the products in their in on on their shelves. Mm -hmm. Nobody's banning it. And yet, you you dumbass people are still buying into it, and that's exactly why it's still up there, man. All right, because they're not gonna put nothing on the shelves or on the market if it's not gonna be bought. Yep. You know. Exactly, and here it is. When it's things that comes to things that's actually good for you, then they want to be questioning it. Like CBD, for example, right? It call it actually fixes things in your body and all that. But then the Esau is gonna come and say, "Is it really safe for you to take? It might it it might be harmful for you. This and that." You hear it, you goddamn devil, you sound like you literally selling cancer on your shows. Mm -hmm. But you want to talk about something that's actually natural from the earth being bad for your body. Here it is, he gives you the cancer and then he gives you a, fa a, 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 a false way of, of, treat, of cancer treatment, which mm -hmm. is chemo, which is further, further uh, 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 destroying you, man. All right. Yep. But that's what you get because the scriptures say what? Never trust thine enemy, man. You can't trust this devil. Mm -hmm. He's untrustworthy. All right. He, mm -hmm. he, his his intention is to kill and destroy you. I got this real fast, and I'm going to bounce back there. This is uh, Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, yep. that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Yeah, and this is what they call good, all right? What they got set up, the, the tower. All right, they're, t they're telling you that it doesn't do anything. It's, it's cool. It's yep. good. It's all good. And really, it's an evil thing. It's like the dude was going into the other Edomite that was speaking on the news clip. He's telling you that it's it's real bad for you, and it's be, even worse for the children because they're still developing, mm -hmm. and it's just it's messing you up. Clear as day, he said him personally. I would never let my kids go to that school. That's how bad it is, and he know for a fact. No matter what the so-called white man says, even if, you got Edomites that don't trust Esau. He's mm -hmm. telling you straight up, like I wouldn't send my kids there. I don't care if they say it's safe or not. And then, yeah, what did what did Esau tell you? According to the F FDA regulations, it's safe for your kids to go to school there. Da da da. We not moving it. So they tell them what to regulate and say. Exactly. They're all paid they off. Bought and paid for. The lobbying. 
Mm-hmm. That's that, 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 and that's been exposed plenty of times how people are paid off. Just like with the um the documentary that the Apostle Ross had to watch before when you um the devil that, the devil we know mm-hmm. going into the Duponts, they was bringing that out in there how people were paid off to. You had scientists that were paid off to lie and say they did research proving that it was safe for people to use. Just like with this, they got people saying that scientists saying that it's safe to be in the area around that when that's a lie. This is all this the so-called white man. He just likes to he has it all set up to where he can do these things because he's in power. Yep. All right. It's on. He has. Uh, he he writes his own laws to protect him to protect himself on the books. Mm-hmm. So you can't you can't sue him or you can't hold him accountable. You know, yeah. and it's you're dealing with the devil, man. Verse uh, this back in Psalm 58, and um, I'll start at two one more time. Yea, in heart ye ye work wickedness; ye weigh the violence of your of your hands in the earth. Mm-hmm. Verse three: The wicked are estranged from the womb; they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Yeah, they go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies, and this is just another lie from the so-called white man. Mm-hmm. Among area everything else he's everything he says is a lie, really. Yep. Alright, just like we was going into in Isaiah, he calls he he tells you things that are good for you. He literally tells you that's bad for you. Mm-hmm. And then here it is, things that actually kill you. Johnson Johnson, Roundup, all these other things. He tells you it's cool, use it. He sell it to you. Yep. Like it's good to use. And he's literally killing you. Yeah, he'll sell it for the cheap too. Yeah, that's why people buy it because mm-hmm. it's so cheap. Exactly. And everything that's cheap, you getting what you pay for. You want to be yeah. cheap, buy some cheap shit. <laughs> That's why your ass fucked up. Yeah. You want to be... Cheap shit ain't good all the time, man. All right, especially dealing with Esau. Why you think they be having shit that's afforded low? Because there's so many chemicals and everything in there. They can afford to sell it so cheap. Yep. There ain't no real products in there. Everything that's organic, high as hell in price. Yep. That just show you that it can't be good for you. Because if it's natural, why is it costing so much compared to something that's cheap? Exactly. Because it's that cheap shit going to kill you. Yep. I got this. It's uh, Micah 2 and 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. Mm-hmm. And that's what these so-called white men do. All right, you so-called white people, you're the one in control of everything. I mean, what do y'all do? Y'all think of new ways to to work iniquity, all right, to devise iniquity, man. Here it is. This is a regular cell tower doing this, like I said. And then you in the pro- you're in the works of trying to make five G thing a uh, a thing in the future. All right, actually making five G towers set up everywhere to cause more death in the earth, man. All right, you along with vaccinating people, along with the uh, polluting the meat, all right, polluting the water, everything that you do, it's all devised to to cause death because you devise nothing but iniquity. Yeah, pushing out these viruses. We went into earlier this week. Esau is is in the um, is um the the government is pretty much they're they're funding uh new studies on a on a deadly form of of the bird the I believe the uh the bird flu virus yeah that's going to uh that'll that'll uh, kill you humans that kill you people mm-hmm. all right this this is what Esau's working on man all right he's whipping up death to serve out to you people yep it says woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And that's why they practice it, all right? Just like the, the dude said in the video clip, they're test dummies. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're practicing on your children to see what it do to them because it's in the power of their hand. What are you going to say about it? You complain to the uh, to, to the look, uh, county or whatever that you in, and what they say, oh, we're not going to move it. So your complaints ain't going to do nothing. You could complain all day, but he's still going to continue to be the devil. Mm -hmm. And he's still going to continue to put more hell upon you because he has the power to do so. He's in rulership. And that's showing you that that is who's in rulership. All right, the wicked. Because only the wicked would do something like that. Here, you're destroying your, along with destroying our people, the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're destroying your own people as well. You don't even care who you affect. You're just, you're just the devil. You want to kill everything. All right. That's the spirit that you have on you, cause you're just you're evil and you're wicked. All right, I had um, a precept. Yeah. This is Proverbs four and sixteen, for they sleep not, except they have done mischief. Yeah, you can't just like um. That's a beautiful precept to Micah the second chapter, man. All right, they uh, um they work iniquity uh, upon their beds, okay, you know, and they can't they can't um they can't rest. Unless they done, they, unless they done some form of wickedness, they feel like their day was unproductive, mm-hmm. you know, just like just like us on the, on the, on the right hand side, the balance, you know, if if we haven't 
if we haven't done done something towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you know, you, you just you don't feel right, man. All right. Cause what's the full duty of an Israelite man? To fear the Heavenly Father and to keep his commandments. All right. You know? And right now we're commanded to what? To to prophesy, man, maintain the faith. And condemn this damn devil in his society, man, and expose him. Okay? You know, so Esau, he can't sleep unless he unless he uh uh he's done some wickedness in the earth. And, and in this sense done uh 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 multiple wickedness in one day, you know. Mm -hmm. Not just one thing, he has to he has to do a lot in one day, you know. Because he he has a lot on his on his on, 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 on his agenda. Yep. He he has a according to the Georgia Guidestone, man. He his his goal is to uh, uh is to um is to uh, maintain population under five hundred million I believe mm -hmm. you know all right so that's a lot of that's a lot of people that he has to take off this earth via via uh, forms like this all right viruses okay vaccines you name it bombing places violence death all right just it just everything man you know the works. Go ahead, up. Yep. For they sleep not, except they have done mischief, mm -hmm. and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall. Yep. So they tossing and turning. <laughs> you know they can't they can't sleep at night. All right. Unless unless they have caught they have causing uh, uh some to fall, many to fall, really. Mm -hmm. Okay. You use one. Uh, no, it's one more verse. Okay. For they eat the bread of wickedness mm -hmm. and drink the wine of violence. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. That's that's what uh, that's what Esau um um uh, uh, uh love pretty much. That's what Esau. Uh, that's what tastes good to Esau, man. Yep. I'm Putting gonna, hell you, upon yeah, people. Bring it up. I'm about to look for some. All right. Because that's 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 really the only thing he ever do. Look at everything he's created. All right. Mm -hmm. Now I did a, um I did the video the other day, going into um the automation. All right. How they're replacing all the regular jobs out here with with uh robots. And that's another way of putting more hell upon the people because you literally don't have a job. And they're replacing everything. All right. The AI, the Internet of Things. All right. All these different things that the so-called white man is creating is all to destroy you. All right. And he can't he can't sleep unless he causes that causes something to fall, man. It causes everybody to fall, really, because everything he creates affects everyone. All right. Here it is. The cell tower is killing you. All right. Killing you and your kids. Then you got the uh, fluoridation in the water. He tell you that it's good for your teeth, but then you got toothpaste that has fluoride in there, and it says not to swallow it. If you do, call the CDC. So why, why, what, like, what, why is that? If it's so good for you, why is it in your, why is it in your water? All right. Just like with GMOs, if it's so good for you, why does everybody look dead? That's eating GMOs. All right. Can you can you read that last part? It just reminded me of of this precept right here. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, verse 17 for they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence yep and what does it say right here this is Job 20 i'll start at 11 the, uh, the point is in verse 12 mm -hmm. Job uh, 20 and 11 his bones are full of the sin of his youth mm -hmm. yeah just like it says in habakkuk the second chapter all right this his uh this the soul uh in him is not upright it's not righteous man it's wicked his bones are full of the sin of his youth uh, his youth which shall lie down with them in the dust. Verse 12, the wickedness be sweet in his mouth. All right? Yeah, it's real sweet in his mouth. It tastes good. Yeah. What, what, did, what, did, you, uh, uh, what did you just read in Proverbs? Mm -hmm. All right, he eateth the bread of wickedness. Yeah, you and know? the wine of, drink the wine of violence. See? Because it's sweet, it's sweet in his mouth, man. It tastes good. It got yeah. a sweet savor to, to this devil, man. You know? All right? But guess what, man? Now you you you're getting exposed. Your mm -hmm. own people is exposing you, man. That's the cold part about it. Your own people expose you. We just bring out the information and bring out the scriptures on it. Yep. <laughs> you know. Exactly. You eat the are are done, man. You do. You know. Cause what, what does it say uh, against this? I mean, it's like not against. What does it say uh, about that? Um. This is uh Saint Mark. Okay. Uh, three and twenty-six. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, it says, "And if Satan rise up against himself, because Esau is the physical counterpart of Satan, yep, 
So you got your own people rising up against you, saying, man, this is fucking wicked, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what about our red Hebrew Edomite children? <laughs> you know? Yeah. What are you doing? All right? It says, and if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but have an end. And that's mm-hmm. where we're at. We're at the end of Esau's world. Yep. All right. Second Ezra six and nine. We're at the end of your kingdom, man. We're at the end of your kingdom, buddy. <laughs> you know. That's hey, why you're getting exposed on a high level by your right. own fucking with yep. own kind yep. by your own kin. And I was I was speaking on about the um how uh everything getting brought out about Esau's wickedness. Mm-hmm. We was going into the other day in the video we was doing, and I was mentioning how they're going to end up exposing the vaccinations. They're having a problem out there in New York right now telling the kids that they can't come to school that's not vaccinated because mm. they're having a measles outbreak. Mm. And they're trying to blame, they're trying to basically blame blame kids that's unvaccinated when more than likely it's the people who's vaccinated that exactly. actually is getting it. Exactly. Because if the kids are unvaccinated and don't have it, then who the hell has it? They shouldn't be immune to it, right? Like who the hell, yeah, who has it then? If they, if they, why don't, why don't they have it is really... If it's an outbreak and everything, the unvaccinated kids should be the main ones getting it, according to how Esau talked about it. Mm-hmm. So that, that's going to be another thing that just that's going to end up coming out as well. Because mm-hmm. you they're just trying to push that, literally trying to ban your kid from coming to school and then trying to make it seem like a bad thing. Like we was going into in Isaiah 5 and 20. Beautiful. All right. Saying that, oh, you, since you want to say like you want to, um, you want to, uh, you want your kid to be um, exempt from vaccinations, you're, you're evil. We're gonna flag you. All right, we're gonna look, they're gonna look at you some type of way for you saying that you don't want to take this poison. You. Exactly, they're they are demonizing their kids by saying that you can't yeah, come to school. That's they that's their trick. They're just gonna de- demonize you. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're not down with this. Oh man, something's up with them, man. Blaming the outbreak on people unvaccinated when unvaccinated people should be the main ones having it, then when that's not the case, exactly. Yeah, it's just it's just your weak ass witchcraft of Esau mm-hmm. trying to say that it's an outbreak and then blame people that don't want to take your poison when it be the main people that that do have it be the main, um be the people that actually got vaccinated mm-hmm. and then those vaccina- vaccinations that you create they actually mutate the virus because the the whooping cough for kids I just I had seen another article and I was like reading through different articles and stuff I seen an article going into how the uh, the vaccination for for the whooping cough is no longer working anymore because the the whooping cough virus is mutating, and why is it mutating? Because you can be keep creating all these fucking um, vaccines, and then by you doing all that, it just mutates the virus, just like the um the the uh, the bird flu or the H one N one. It's so many different strains because you creating all these different down vaccinations for it, and then it just mutates it. You're do, you're the one that's causing this, but then you want to blame everybody for um be look at everybody in a bad light. For not wanting to take your poison, mm-hmm. it's a so-called white man for you. He he has to he he has to cause mischief. He can't sleep unless he do some wickedness like we've been going into. He has to he has to put use he's using people as test dummies. This, that's just another aspect. Just like this video clip we played, the kids you getting tested. You're literally being tested on seeing how the the, the um that uh the cell tower affects your children, along with everything else that so-called white man does to our people in America. All right, and everybody else in America, he, it's all to test you. Really, it's a big ass testing ground for Esau, because everything that he releases never been tested. Even your cell phone causes cancer. Yep. Everything causes like kills you here. Yep. All right, nothing's safe. Yet the so-called white man lies mm. to you and say that it is. Yeah, I just seen that. Just reminded me. I just seen um something online. Pretty much the new what everybody's getting now. I believe the new Apple uh the ear- air wireless pods. earplugs they cause cancer. <laughs> you know, so all these, all these so-called, all these uh, new and improved high forms of, of technology and these, and these devices that Esau is pushing out, taxing you for, they're all killing you. They're all killing you, man. And he's doing this on purpose. You're pretty much paying for your death. Mm-hmm. You know, top dollar, top dollar. You're buying into it, and it, and this is this is a, 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 a what do I like? To, uh, what am I thinking about? Uh, uh, this is all, um, ah, this is a business, man. Mm-hmm. All right. They make money off this yep. daily. All right. They make mm-hmm. millions upon billions of dollars off, off killing you people. Okay. And, and, and selling you death. Mm-hmm. You know.
Yeah. So, I mean, you had any other presets? Uh, no, no, that was that was pretty much it, man. Yeah, that's... this guy is the devil. Yeah, clearly. Okay, this guy is clearly the devil. And if any any of you Jakes uh uh uh, uh dispute that, man, death unto you. Mm -hmm. Okay, death unto you, man. May you get may you get cancer. May you get the measles. May you get all the plays that he's pressing out here and, and more, man. Yeah. You know. And if you love being here, death to you as well, man. Exactly. If you love being in America and you don't want to get out of here. All right, because this place is polluted, man. And if you actually love living here under the so-called white man, then you deserve death, man. And you know, and you're gonna you're gonna reap what you what you should receive for wanting to be here, man. Which is death and destruction. All right, because right. that's, right. that's all that's coming to America. Mm -hmm. And that those those uh pestilence, destruction. All right, those many woes that's all cut on the way here, man. And you all you people that have your faith based in America and in Babylon and not in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. I'm speaking about two thirds of our people. All right. The you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, you're all gonna get caught up in that. Yeah, you damn demons, man. Okay. Over here over here copping please for Esau. Mm -hmm. He can be saved. Oh he's not oh he's not the devil. Alright? Not all white people. Man, get yeah. that shit out of here, man. Oh it's it's oh it's 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 okay to be here. Oh it's not that bad. Hey man, what, you, that's why you're gonna die here, man. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished, man. Mm -hmm. I bring, I bring this out. We can close right here. That's why we gotta get the hell out of here, man. Yeah. All right, and that's why, that's why we constantly cry out to the, to how about Shmuel was shy, like it says in Isaiah 62 and 6, man. We give him no rest because we're not at rest, man. Mm -hmm. All right, we're being affected by this, man. We have to be here, man. Okay. Uh, all right, we can't and we ready even, to get the hell out of here. Can't even be at rest because you got shit attacking you twenty four seven. Twenty four seven. Every you 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 you're getting attacked on all levels, spiritually, physically. Yeah. All right. Fucking cell towers, your Wi Fi, radiation fucking, going all over your the Your cell place. phone hitting you. All these Everything, signals. <laughs> yeah, all these different frequencies and shit hitting you twenty four seven. You can never rest here, man. Exactly. You know, this is uh, this is um, Saint Matthew twenty four and twenty two. And except those days mm -hmm. should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. Yeah, and that's why the days have to be shortened, man. Because literally everything here kills you. It's just, <laughs> it's just getting brought, brought as we continue to get closer to the end. Mm -hmm. It's just going to be made manifest all the different things here that's killing you, which we already know. It's just going to be brought to light to these other people that are stupid as hell and don't even know about it. They're the ones who's going to find like just now finding out. We the men of the men of the Lord. All right, we've been knowing that all these things that Esau created is killing us. Yeah, we're privy to the information, man. Mm -hmm. All right. It says, um, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Yeah, for the elect's sake, it's going to be shortened, man. Not for the rest of you niggas here, man, because you don't want to leave. You want to stay here. That's why I said for the elect's sake, because they're, we're the only ones that want to get out of here, man. All right. We're the only ones sighing and crying, complaining. All right, that actually has a problem with being here. Y'all really love being here. You don't care about being hit with frequencies, being hit with fucking chemtrails and all type of other shit in America. Psychological warfare, bio, biological warfare. Yeah. You know? Everything. Nutricide, killing you with food. Everything here is literally destroying you. Y'all want to be here, man. That's why it says for the elect's sake, there's, those days going to be shortened because the rest of our people, man, they love it here, all right? And all you, all our people that do love it here, man, you're gonna die rightfully so, man. You deserve to. Yep. Cause you want to sit here and try to sit, try to make it seem cool to be in America, man. When everything here literally kills you, man. You and your children. Yo, so the scripture we brought it out, Isaiah five and twenty, that applies to you niggas as well. Mm -hmm. Warn to you that uh, that put evil for good and good for evil. So you 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 saying all this is cool, man? Death unto you, all right? And death to America, man. You know? Yep. Hey, so with that, Lord willing, the lesson was edifying. We're going to give all praises again to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukak Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Mm -hmm. And Shalom Wam Tata Akim out there preaching his word, truth, and sincerity. That's right. Shalom. Shalom.